All right, what have we up here? What is this place? Where am I? This appears to be a place I haven't really discovered yet. It's a charter school. Somerville. I just want to get this place on my map and know what it is. Gunners Plaza. Is that Gunners as in that mercenary group or whatever they were? Oh boy, we got ghouls. Yep, Gunner Private. Okay, he's got a big ass missile launcher. He's level 22. These guys seem pretty serious. All right. Oh yeah, get melted, bitch. I was just getting warmed up. Well, he certainly doesn't need that anymore. <laughs> You're damn right, Codsworth. Oh, I love it. Why are all these ghouls carrying hairbrushes? You guys ever notice that? It's it feels like the ghouls always have hairbrushes. I don't know why. They don't need them. All right, well, let's go look down here. There might be some interesting stuff down in this little, uh, I don't know, marina-type area. There's some boats. Cutler Bend. All right, here we go. Meyer Lurks. Level 5. Level 5? Ain't nothing, man. Okay. This must be the 18 guy. He hits pretty hard. Why did I reload when I still had four shots left? I don't know why I would do that. It's so weird. Yeah, he actually hit pretty hard. Rad resist. Uh, yeah, let's, that's good. Let's raise my rad resist a little bit. And heal up. This area seems pretty hot. What with the water and the ghouls and everything else. Whoa, what the fuck is that? Oh, it's a Mirelurk King! Oh shit! Okay. Alright. It is time to go. Back to dry lands. These motherfuckers. I'm gonna heal. What grenades do I have equipped right now? Smoke grenades. Uh, yeah, I don't want to use them here. Let's use up some more frags. What the fuck did he just shoot at me? Dude, he's got like a sonic blast. That's crazy. It's not very accurate, though. Yeah. Oof. He got me with that last shot. Okay, he's got a couple buddies coming. Mutt chops. Yeah, let's, let's get a little AP back. I need something small. Come on. I don't really have any... <laughs> any small food items. I've got to have some. Here we go. Bubble gum. That'll do it. Come on out of here, bitches. Ooh. You know what? If you're going to hang back there, I'm going to snipe you. Yeah, that night scope. How do you like that? Oh, get set on fire, bitch. That's awesome. Okay, he's coming for me now. He's mad. He's mad. Oof. Okay. And there's at least one more. This dude's, like, completely... 
tethered to that boat, though. So I'll be happy to just pick them off from out here. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. It's a sniper duel. Fuck. I win. Whew. That was fun. Okay. Could be more hanging out underwater. Hard to say. Oh, please let me up. Let me up. Are you kidding me? I'm fucking stuck. Ugh. I don't know who left a radio on out here. This is actually like a raft. Like somebody took this thing out here. God damn it! I stopped falling in the water. I would really like to loot that last guy I killed. I don't know if I can find his body in the water though. It's also probably not worth it. Dude, fuck you! I keep slipping in the cracks. Oh, no. I messed that up. <sighs> I should probably take some Rad X while I'm going to be walking around here. Because I'm probably going to keep falling in the water. <laughs> Alright. That'll help a little bit. I want to get over there and see what's in there. That dude had to have been guarding something, right? Fuck it. God damn it. I swear to God, I was mashing the jump button. I swear I was. There we go. Thank you. Why was that so hard? Oh, a master safe. And a bunch of other things. Let it reinforce combat armor. Yeah, okay. Master safe, there better be something good in here, man. It's a pain in the ass to get to. Okay. It's way down on this side. Up a little. Up a little more. There we go. Sweet. All right, refill my Rad X and Rad Away. <laughs> Chemistry jar. Oh, it's just glass. Disappointing. Well, nothing too crazy, but a good amount of decent things. So I'll take it. Now, the real issue is going to be getting back. I think I. Well, let's try it. <laughs> yep. Knew that was gonna happen. Get up. Oh, let's see. It's like a lighthouse or something over here. Hello. Oof. Oh, you sandbagging son of a bitch. Hit me in the back. Okay. Alright, they're doing they're doing work on me. You know what? I'm gonna eat your queen. Cause fuck you. Oh. Get him, Cosworth. Fucking flame him. Do something to him. Come on. Jesus Christ. Ah! What are these? Why are there cashlings? Get out of here. Motherfuckers broke my arms. I'm in pain. But I'm better now. 
And the hatchlings don't even give you meat. That's bullshit. They're like the perfect bite-sized things. Should be like Meyer Lurk gobstoppers or something. I don't know. What was I doing? Right, this thing here. Hello, dead guy. I'm gonna take all your bones. That's not grizzly at all, is it? Yeah, we could sleep there. Aha! Trying to hide a little ammo from me. Okay, whoever that person was. Is Cosworth holding a stim pack? I wonder what that's about. Is he just like ready to stick me with it in the event that he needs to? Alright, we gotta figure out how to get up onto this roof. There's obviously something up in that little tree house. Ah, here we go. Hello. I have to remember, I've, I'm picking up all this Mirelurk meat next time I find a, uh, cooking station. <laughs> awesome. Let's go ahead and roast us some Mirelurks. Uh, there it is. I was gonna say, we should have a, like a whole shitload of this stuff. I love that you can do that for such easy XP. It's so cool. Ah! Mmm. Fucking mines. They're everywhere in this game. You can't fucking get away from them. Everywhere you go. Son of a bitch. Okay. That's too late. God, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <sighs> okay, we're good. Eight shotgun shells. I mean, I'll never say no to shotgun shells, but is that really all that's up here? Hmm. All right. Guess that's all we got around here. Alright, where to now? We're actually already on the side of the river that we wanted to be on, so I guess we'll just keep making our way towards Somerville. Ooh, Mirelick eggs. Okay. You know, I was trying to loot them, and everyone I touch would just hatch immediately, so fuck them. They're getting shot. <laughs> you know what would be a really cool mechanic is if you could loot the eggs, and then the longer they sat in your inventory, the better chance they had of just hatching. And just, like, they would just, like, appear on the screen and just attack you, like, out of your inventory. You know what I mean? I always thought that was cool. There was a mechanic like that in Zelda Ocarina of Time. You could get, I think it was a, I think it was a Kuko egg. And if you held onto it long enough, it would hatch. I think it was actually part of the trading quest. Uh, my memory's a little foggy, because it's been so long since I've played it. What is going on up here? Level 39, oh shit. Okay. Headshot, please, please, 50%. Okay, that's good. Two of them. Can't see. There we go. Ooh. What the hell was a guy like that doing around here? What is this? This is a quest item. Blue paint. Sir, pick anything good? 
Eh, most of the stuff is stuff I don't want. Alright, we'll take this, I guess. I don't know what quest it's for. But, <laughs> now I have it. For when I get it. This is a cooking station? Interesting. Hmm. Okay, let's sleep for an hour. Get that health back. No reason not to. And we better keep an eye out. Because that guy was like ridiculously high level for where I'm at. What the hell is this? I'm hiding drugs in this thing. <laughs> Wonder who this is supposed to be. Kind of reminds me of Hancock. Just because like the way he's dressed. I'm sure it's older than that though. It's probably like some colonial era guy. Anyway. What have we over here? Ah? Huh? Some kind of flying creature. Somewhere close. Level 18 Stingwing Darter. Well, this bitch is actually pretty strong. Nice one, Cosworth. Give me that cola quantum. I want it. Where'd that thing go? I want to loot it. Got it. Damn, there's a lot of these things around here. Okay, let's just wait for him to fly out. <laughs> what if I can try and shoot its wings off? Yeah. Yeah, shoot the wings off. Come on. Oh, I hit him twice. Didn't do anything. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. He's off in my grill. It's really hard to find these things once they're dead. It kind of blends in here. Yep. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Ah, uh, okay. Who the hell? Who could who could see that? It's just like a a couple parts of him just laying there on the ground. Codsworth, do you take care of the other guy? <laughs> I guess the dude's still alive. I don't know. I'm not that worried about it. Sure, I'm finding a lot of ammo boxes in this place. Like this general area, I mean. Oh, he's back! Oh. Yeah! You flying fuck. Go tell all your friends. But you can't, because you're dead. Don't feed the bear. Does that mean there's a rad bear around here? Because... That sounds terrifying. This dude got fucking crushed. It's a shit way to go. Actually, when you're talking about the apocalypse, I guess there are a lot of worse ways to go than just getting crushed. I guess it depends how quickly you die. <laughs> There's not a lot going on in this place. Okay. Alright, we are really close to Somerville. Keep getting pulled off in different directions.
wonder if this is going to be one of those places that just needs help with raiders, but, like, these raiders are pretty damn strong around this area. I guess being on the southern end of the map, that would be why. Here's a person that I can't vats. Hi, mister. Hi there. Kids gotta earn your keep, too. Yeah? You better not cause any trouble. What are you gonna do? Pint sized bastard. Can't do shit. Hi, mister. Hey, sweetie. When I grow up, I'm gonna have my own farm and make other people do all the work. Okay. Well, I was about to say that's probably not gonna work out for you, but then you phased right through the gate. So, you are actually somebody that I probably don't really wanna fuck with. We got Kitty Pride hanging out here. And uh, Kitty Pride can do what she wants. We could really use your help. You don't even know who I am, sir. What do you need? Something nasty's living just around the corner from here. It's only a matter of time before there's some real trouble. Now, what's really too bad is it'd be a nice spot for a new settlement. In fact, I know some folks that'd love to set up there if it was safe. If you can make sure the old workshop there is still in one piece, anyone who decides to move in later will be able to rebuild. Hmm. All right, sounds simple enough. Where is this place? Well, we have a pretty good idea. I hope you can find them and wipe them out. Secure the workshop at Sunshine Tidings Co-op. Okay. All this stuff in here is owned, so I can't take any of it, even though there's lots of good stuff. That would make Codsworth very upset with me, and I'm not trying to piss him off right now. And yeah, none of it seems to be stuff I can't find elsewhere. Oh, I can take their corn, though. It's so weird how the game just makes an exception for this, like, planted food that you can find everywhere. It's like, oh yeah, we know that you need this stuff to make food at your settlement, so we'll go ahead and let you seal that. Just ignore the fact that it doesn't make any sense at all. Alright, how far away is this next place that we're going to? Sunshine Tidings Co-op is... Damn, it's way the hell up there. Wicked Shipping Fleet Lockup, Arcjet Systems. Let's fast travel here, and then we'll head south around that lake. I think the enemies there probably won't be quite as strong as what I've been dealing with in here, because we're heading in a more northerly direction on the map. Hello. Float flies. It's way easier to just vats these things, instead of trying to, like, manually aim at them. Aw, oh, come on. Alright, that'll work. <laughs> Not in work, but wouldn't want to leave the good stuff. The problem with all these flying fuckers is they blow up and get spread everywhere. And it's hard to find exactly where you're supposed to loot. What is this? Okay, we're gonna get ratted up so we can open up this toolbox. That's it. That was worth it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to chew up some of this pistol ammo right now because I've got so much of it. I could actually probably take this stuff to, like, uh, Diamond City and sell off most of it. But this game actually does a pretty decent job of gating the economy system. Well, I'll knock that bitch over. Because uh, everybody only has so many caps, so you can't, like, just go around picking up all kinds of shit and then sell it all in one go. You have to wait until their caps get restored. I guess you could just, like, do the wait option and go, like, a day later. I don't even know if that actually replenishes them that quickly, because I've never tried. It doesn't really seem worth it. And as long as you are doing a decent job of looting and 
hoarding things. Caps don't really seem to be an issue. Unless you really want to, like, buy all the most expensive stuff in the game, but I haven't seen a reason to do that yet. Under our protection. Okay. Don't let Ingram catch you standing around. You'll be on report before you can blink. If it looks dead, put one more in his head for good measure. Why take the chance? Sure, sure. Good job, brothers. Keep securing this bridge. It's a very important strategical point, I'm sure. This place looked like there might have been a way to get inside it. <laughs> I don't see a door or anything, though. Alright, where are we going? Where the hell's my mission marker? Oh, we're here. Okay. So... Professor Goodfeels! <laughs> oh, Cosworth, look! It's your people! Come meet your long-lost family. What? Whoa, man. He's... Whoa, man. This robot's a hippie. Godsworth, what are you talking about? Free the robots. What the hell have we stumbled upon here, guys? <laughs> it's like a... It's like a robot liberation camp. With a bunch of stoned robots. Hey. I'm old is. Hey, Codsworth. Here you go. Thanks. So, what the hell am I doing here? There's nothing to fight here. Whoa. Secure the workshop. Oh, okay. Groovy. I can't enter workshop mode yet. I've got to find the damn thing. Keep looking around for a little bit first, though. Ah! Try not, <laughs> Try not to get any on your boots. Uh. It's quiet enough to hear the old gears spinning. So, I thought there were going to be a lot more robots around here. Seems like it's just, uh... Professor Goodfeels here. Stoned out of his fucking mind. Just running around. Metal busket. Alright, well here's a chemistry station. Here's the workshop. Clear enemies. What enemies? There's no enemies. Are they talking about, like, fucking rad roaches? Alright. Let's hack this thing. Let's see. Let's try... Start. One likeness. Sides. Sweet. Yeah. Standard Mr. Handy control interface. Alan, we finally sprung a slave from the squares for our Freedom Farm co-op. A Mr. Handy from the Nottaville suburbs. The tin can wigged out trying to go back to his slave owners almost clued the fuzz onto us, so Johnny noodled it out and zonked his motivation protocols to just be. Now we call him Professor Goodfields, just digging the world as it be, owing nothing to nobody. Careful with his other protocols. These cans knuckle... These cans knuckle creeps if they go ape. I think this dude's doing, been doing some drugs of his own. Mr. Handy Control. Choose protocols or shut down unit. Do I want to do this? Just be protocols, guard protocols, return for maintenance. Guard protocol probably makes him violent. Let's choose this one. 
Broadcasting maintenance protocols. Returning to maintenance facility. Esther's consumer robotics. Okay. It said it updated my map. I don't know what to, though. Where did he go? This quest is weird. I have no idea what's going on. Mr. Goodfields, where'd you go? What the hell are Tato flowers? Oh shit. Okay. Okay, were these these enemies they were talking about? Just a couple ghouls in here? Let's see if it'll let us activate the workbench now, I guess. God damn it. <laughs> uh, I don't know what's going on. Do we have to kill Professor Goodfields? Does he count as an enemy? I wouldn't think so. Okay, so we killed one more rad roach. Just notice we have a couple quest markers leading us over here. Yes. Yes, I would say that, Cosworth. This place is... Maybe not unsettling, but definitely weird. It just weirds me out. There's like a weird vibe, I don't really know what's going on. Decent amount of good loot, though. So at least it has that going for it. Alright. I guess that was everything, because now it's leading me back here. Alright. We've secured the workshop. We have yet another settlement. That will probably never get used. I don't know what I did to Professor Goodfields, man. I, I sent him off somewhere. Instead of return for diagnostics. I guess I guess he was going to Hester Electronics? Wherever the hell that is? They wouldn't have added that in as like a miscellaneous quest, would they? Wait, hold on. Special delivery. No, they didn't add anything there. For stash of chems. Bring a hallucinogen canister to Fred Allen. Pikmin Gallery. Who the hell is Sheffield? I don't I don't know what any of these miscellaneous quests are. Sailing ship, latest issue of public occurrences. Bloat flag land at Dr. Duff. Clean the water supply. Check out the wanted poster. Bring a mutated fern flower to Solomon. Investigate the Museum of Witchcraft. I still want to do that one because that sounds really cool. <laughs> Combat zone and see Abbott about the wall. All these miscellaneous quests in here, I don't really remember anything about any of them. But yeah. I don't know. I, we'll, we'll, we'll probably run into Professor Goodfields again at some point. Damned if I know when. 
But yeah. Let's go back to Somerville Place and turn this quest in. That wasn't quite as difficult as I thought it was going to be. It was just really, really weird. You're back. Any luck clearing out that trouble spot? It's all good. I cleared that place out for you. Should be safe for your friends to move in now. Oh, nice to have some good news around here for a change. By the way, we've decided to support the Minutemen. We've got to help each other if we want things to get better. True story, bro. Well, I guess we're done here. Is there anything else interesting in this immediate vicinity? I saw Taking a look around. It was far away, but I saw it. I don't see much. Already looted all your food. Can I sit on the swing? No. Oh. So we're going to go back to Sanctuary and turn that quest in, but I just want to look around a little bit more. Because I haven't really been down on, on this side of the map much. And it's interesting. It actually seems relatively empty. I kind of just wonder like how far south we can go. Like right now, we're almost at the edge of the map as it shows on the Pip-Boy. Like, I wonder what happens when we come out this far. Wouldn't it be funny if we just got hit with, like, an artillery strike as soon as we stepped over the line? <laughs> Game was just like, no, you've gone too far. Dead. Silt bean. Check that out. We found a silt bean stock all the way out here. That's cool. We should take that back to uh, sanctuary and actually grow some more. Up hostile life sign. Not this time. What's all this then? Picking up hostile life sign. Alpha. Oh, he's an alpha. Doggy headshot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. That was brutal. The hell did I just pick up from him? I picked up some kind of dog collar. What the hell is the point of those? They don't give you any kind of bonus. All they do is take up space in your inventory. I guess it's just cosmetic. I can give it to dog meat and be like, here's your collar, boy. You know, why would I want to collar a, a, my dog in the goddamn apocalypse? Like, if somebody finds him, they're not going to bring him back to me. Well, I guess that's not true. Maybe somebody would. It's not really... Like, a necessary thing to do, though. It says you cannot go this way. Don't tell me what to do, game. I just jumped right over the fence. <laughs> you cannot go that way. Oh no, invisible wall. The dreaded invisible wall. That's how they block you off. Well, that's a disappointing answer to that question. How far down are we? So you can go a little bit past the border. That's interesting. I wonder what the hell is down this way. If we turn right. Hmm. Looks like... Some kind of... Heavy machinery of some kind. Hold on, we gotta check this out, guys. What the hell is this stuff? 
It's like a giant airplane. It's some kind of crash site. Level 17 bloat fly, huh? Alright, it's a very hot area. Probably shouldn't go in there without the proper protections. Oh my god, this whole area is hot. I'm getting gunked the fuck up. I want to see what's inside this plane. Skylanes Flight 1655. Dude, what the hell is this? There's no people. There's no corpses. It's not any readily available loot. Okay. Alright. I get it. I get it. This place is hot. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna fast travel out of here. <laughs> I'm glad I found that place. Uh, I, I want to go back there and explore it properly. Uh, once I'm actually set up to do so. Right now I am not. I always have trouble finding Diamond City on this damn map. It's like... Somewhere... Ah, uh, why can't I ever find it? Oh, there it is. Home plate. Yeah, we're gonna fast travel there to the doctor so I can get my rads taken care of instead of taking... You know, 8,000... Radaway pills. <laughs> because damn, that hurt. I've never seen- I've never seen it go up that quickly. I was getting like 28 per second. Uh, towards the end there. Which is nuts. You know, I think- I think maybe that- the bottom left corner of the map, maybe this is the glowing sea. Maybe this is what they were talking about. That would make sense. I thought it was down in this area. But I was wrong about it being up here. I think it's just down farther south. In any case, where's the doctor? There he is. <clears throat> Don't dally. If you're here to be examined, let's get you examined. Yes. Cure me. Yeah. Take a look at me, Doc. Go over your symptoms with me. Uh, cure rads. Why is it grayed out? I guess because I already did it before? I think I soaked up some rads out there. We'll clean you up. Don't worry. They made it out in one piece. That is a big fucking needle. Done. Now, was there anything else bothering you? Nope. That's all I needed. No. We're done. All right. Don't ruin my hard work by dying out there. I could use one of those <laughs> All right, Dr. Sun, you got it. Oh, that's really convenient being able to get that done all in one shot like that. 40 caps, whatever. I'll pay the 40 caps for it. All right, let's go turn this quest in. If I'm super, super lucky. Hold on, what the adamantium skeleton perk, your bones are infused with unbreakable metal, which reduces, it may even completely prevent limb damage. Ooh, Wolverine style. It's weird that they actually call it adamantium. Like, isn't that, like, trademarked by Marvel? Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah? Please level up from this. The Minutemen are on a roll. I helped that settlement you sent me to, and cleared the way for a new settlement in the process. That's fantastic news. We're gonna take back the whole Commonwealth from the bad guys at this rate. Anyway... I'm glad you're here. Something else has come up. Of course it has. Innocent word. They somehow managed to drive off a super mutant ring. If they're worried, the super mutants will come back in force. You better get over there before it's too late. Really? Because that's just like a carbon copy of the Starlight Drive-In quest. Oberlin. Didn't I already have something for Oberlin? I've already been there before. I guess I didn't have a quest for them. Well, whatever. 
We'll keep knocking these out, guys. That didn't give me a ton of XP. I'm really sad that I haven't leveled up for a while, but... You know, the farther we get with this Minutemen stuff, uh, you know, the more the map we're going to have unlocked, the more rewards we will get. And uh, eventually we'll finish up that faction and be able to move on to something hopefully more interesting. I'm, I'm really curious to do the uh, the railroad, the Freedom Railroad thing and the Paladin stuff, like the Brotherhood stuff, because I think they're both going to be really good story-wise and hopefully have like interesting loot and things like that. So that's where we're at now, guys. Uh, I want to say thank you very much for watching, guys. Appreciate the support on this. I'm Dude Long Couch. Hello, sir. I'll catch you guys in the next part. See you around.